back to my backyard and today we're going to be attempting to install the grounding rod system that I'm going to be digging and I'm going to be measuring and I'm going to be trenching and we'll see how far I get. I'm hopefully I can put some ground rods in today on Tank Radio and look Mike, I have a real shovel. <laughs> Before we go ahead and get started, I'm going to show y'all uh, what the electrician did. I had an electrician came out and install and correct my ground rod system. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Coming from the meter of the house, out of the wall, there's this new black line that runs down into the ground rod down there. And the second line runs through the fence. With today's grounding code, we need two ground rods installed. One at the base of where all the power coming in close to your meter. And then the second one six feet away. So there's my fence line and it goes to right there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do some measuring. Oh, wow. And I get to play with spray paint. <laughs> quick update after i posted my last video last month unfortunately sorry thanksgiving and everything a number of people a number of y'all uh, reached out to me and we talked about uh, nestor and what they recommend for installing grounding rods we came to the conclusion that grounding rods need to be installed double their length apart so i have eight foot grounding rods and i'm going to install them 16 feet apart so the math i did last time was a little wrong well it was correct but it was using the wrong principles. So we're gonna go ahead and remap out my backyard. And using this uh, first uh, right angle corner here, uh, I did a quick, some math that we're using the Fagarine theorem. <laughs> that is fun. I came out to the first grounding rod after coming up to this corner behind me is gonna be installed 15 feet in that direction. So let's go ahead and figure that out. So we got sprinkler head here. My sprinklers are running around there to to this junction point here and that means my first ground installation is gonna be right here geez man this ground is hard I should have done this weeks ago when it rained for like three days straight oh well what are you gonna do next 15 feet this way I'm hoping that it's gonna be off my deck here we go two meter 12 feet 14 feet 16 feet to the other side of my deck that is just pushing it a little bit but I think we're going to be good and I'm going to go ahead and mark the next one right there. Of course there has to be another sprinkler line right here. Another 16 feet. 14, 15, 16. Why does it have to be next to a sprinkler again? All right coming up to another corner and here we go. It is, that's five, almost five and a half feet again. I'm gonna say that's five and a half feet to keep our math simple. So that means a 15 feet that way to our next line. And that's where, and thankfully, I had electrician install the grounding rod over there and we might come up on it on 15 feet. Let's go ahead and cross our fingers. I'm gonna be ecstatic if this works out. Here we go, here we go. Eight feet, nine feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, 14 feet, 15 feet. The ground rod is a little less than 18 feet away. I think that's close enough. Um, that is my ground system. So I spray painted one, two, three holes. Oh, ho, ho, this is going to be so awesome. I was thinking I needed seven grounding rods and now I only need three. Thanks to Hex and um, everyone else who pointed that out in the comments. I appreciate that. That also shows I read the comments for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to be tying and bonding into that grounding rod there. And then we're gonna come to the first point right here is the uh, ground rod number one I'm gonna install to the grounding rod number two I'm gonna install. And then turning, turning, turning to the base of my chimney where grounding rod number three is gonna install. And that is gonna be the base of the UHF VHF antenna. It's gonna be mounted way up there. Come on, turn, yeah, there we go. And now I dig. Hole number one done. I did find the sprinkler line, but um, I didn't nick it too bad, so that's good. Let's 
dude, number two. Ooh, that's hard. Oh, there are rocks here. I forgot about that. Hole number three done. This is going surprisingly well. I say that, but I'm scared now what's gonna happen. <laughs> Out of all these, this is gonna be the easiest one. This is fill dirt. We put it in the back of my house to keep the foundation nice. And this dirt, the top of it is topsoil. So I'm gonna save this dirt and uh, we're gonna be using it for filling in later. Sprinkler line there again. All three holes I found the Zam sprinkler line. God bless it. There it is, hole number three. Next, we're gonna trench this back corner of the house. Yay! It's almost been about an hour and I've completely trenched the back side of my house. I'm going to take a quick break and run up to Lowe's and see if I can rent the hammer rody drill press thing and the drill bit to run the ground rods in and buy the ground rods. It's coming together. Woot! I might do this in one day. I'm going to go to Home Depot. Home Depot has the drill, but I don't think they have the grounding rod drill bit. We're going to go ahead and check that out and also I'm check look at this hat man the tank radio hat go ahead and head over to giga parts and pick up yours today i love this hat i've been wearing it all day <laughs> Well, I took a little break from digging um, and I went to Home Depot, two Home Depots, three different runs and a Lowe's to um, eventually rent this guy. Um, the issue was trying to find this guy. Lowe's said they did tool rental, but that's the only location they have. It's down in Houston. Houston, and I'm in Dallas. Come on, Lowe's. But they did have this for rent, but uh, Home Depot doesn't. So I had to, had to buy that guy. And what I'm going to use this for, this is a rotary drill hammer. I'm going to use this to drive the ground rods all the way into the ground plus a little bit of water and I got a ladder out to help um, not quite right oh, I should be fine yeah I should be fine um, let's go ahead and get started Good morning. This is the morning of day two here. I'm going to give you all a quick recap as I'm feeling Bailey, my cat in the backyard. And this time of year, man, the trees really drop a lot of leaves. Uh, the trenches I dug yesterday are pretty much leaved over. And then yesterday I kind of stopped filming. Look at that. After uh, my rotary uh, drill hammer wasn't working quite well, it ran the rod in about two feet. And then I went back and forth with Home Depot trying to figure out what to do about that. So this morning, I went ahead and rented the 20 pounder uh, hammer drill, 20 pounder hammer thing. And uh, we're gonna give that a shot this morning. 
but look at this. Imagine waiting one week. How many leaves will be in that trench? <laughs> the other thing I've got to do today is trench this back part. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the drilling because um, I rented that for four hours. If there's any issues, I am going to deal with that first. And since it's first thing in the morning, I got a fresh brewed, bottle brewed Coke. When in doubt, more power. <laughs> I love this. Heading to Home Depot earlier than expected, um, that new 20 pound drill, hammer drill press thing really did the trick. Um, I got all three ground rods in there. However, when I was counting the locking lugs for the ground rods, I counted three. One for each ground rod I was installing. I forgot. I need an additional fourth for the one I'm connecting to. Yeah. So I'm returning this early and uh, probably get some lunch and continuing on. What's going on, y'all? This is Future Frank. I'm going ahead and editing this video. And uh, man, it's an awesome video, but it's turned into a little bit of a long one. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a two-parter here. Man, that sun is right behind me. There we go. I think this will be a good point to end part one here. Um, part two is going to be me um, finishing up all the wiring job, putting in all the boxes and filling in everything. So that's going to be in a couple of weeks. But uh, till next time, y'all, go forth and conquer. Well, I took a good break from digging and I went to Home Depot and I started to try to rent this guy and get the drill bit. And that's a long story in its own right. There's something missing there. That's beautiful.